my name is Dan and I own Eightfold Property Limited. We're a property company that deals with short-term lets, long-term lets, student lets, commercial property, commercial management, block management, and anything in between. Musical background, I started when I was about 15, playing in the usual covers bands. Merged on to doing my own stuff with Thrill Cream and Special Patrol, with Steve Addison, The Love Affair, and a little bit with Paul Weller and some people like that. Gave it all up to become an estate agent. So I was trying to find my identity with Brighton Accommodation Agency at the time, but my company wasn't really where I wanted it to be. We really wanted to create this brand. It was very secular to Brighton. I wanted something I could go the whole of East Sussex. I looked at the Water Bear Masters and thought that perhaps it would show me a different way of thinking about myself and how my business should be portrayed to other people. I didn't realise that I was going to learn so many transferable skills. I managed to reconnect with some of the local Brighton guys, Mike Ross for instance. I met him at the Water Bear Open Day, contacted me through Facebook, ended up playing on his album release, which is very nice for someone who hasn't played bass for 15 years. When it comes to my final project, I wanted to do something with my daughter as an artist. We basically created songs, recorded them, uh, we made the music videos, but then it was to try and find where that target audience was. And the transferable skills from that was when I was trying to reconnect with the um, student base that we have. They're all looking at Right Move and Zoopla. The next day they're gone from there. Where are they? So then you have to find where they're looking at their media. You have to find where they're um, absorbing their information. And I, th I think the whole project allowed me to look at it from a different perspective. And we tracked them down um, and now we're one of the biggest student agencies uh, in the town. So well, I think that's worked well for us. I had done nothing academic since my GCSEs. So to go back at 44 and try and think academically was a real eye-opener. You know, I hadn't written an essay, or I hadn't analysed or, or taken data and tried to transfer it into something else. And to be able to do that meant that I could now do it here. We evaluate, change and improve and evolve into, like I said before, into the project that I know we can be. When we rebranded to Eightfold Property, the whole point was to try and get eight services. Uh, sales is gonna be the last one. And then it's really just to try and, not to be too big headed, but to take over as much of the market as we possibly can down here. Trying to get across the ideas that I became more confident in expressing after the MA. Have an idea of what you want it to give you at the end. Well, possibly not actually, to be fair. I mean, when I started, I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do with it, but it opened up a lot of thought processes that I didn't know existed. And it became a kind of a mantra as to how I wanted to work going forward. But yeah, I would say to anyone thinking about doing it, come to it with an open mind and see where it takes you because yeah, there's some doors that can be opened. Mm -hmm.